Now we go back to Stetson Miller. He was in Columbia earlier tonight with the demonstrations there and has local reaction from both sides of this issue. My body! My Protests are continuing across Maryland after the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade on Friday, stripping away women's constitutional protections for abortion. I am disappointed in this country. I don't know how we have gone 20 steps back, reversing 50 years of precedent. On Saturday, supporters of abortion rights gathered at Columbia Lakefront stage to speak out against the decision and called for voters and lawmakers to take action. We need a constitutional amendment to protect the rights of women's bodies. Men shouldn't be telling women to do with their bodies. In Baltimore, Mayor Brandon Scott said that he is extremely disappointed about the court's decision. This is something we cannot continue to try to have our country go back in time where they don't think that women and other folks should have the rights to decide what to do with their body. But some Marylanders are speaking out in favor of the overturning of Roe v. Wade, like Baltimore Archbishop William Laurie. I think it is good news for uh, our nation. I think it is good news for the cause of life. Abortion protections have been in place in Maryland since the 1990s, but this group demonstrated outside Baltimore's Planned Parenthood on Friday and called for them to end. But most demonstrations across the state were advocating for abortion rights, and many said they will continue to fight for those rights for women everywhere. We live in a state that supports uh, abortion rights and abortion freedoms, and we want to make sure this happens all over the country. That was Stetson Miller reporting. And since the announcement, a number of companies said they will cover employee travel expenses for abortions. That includes people like Lyft, Uber, Nike, Disney, and Paramount, which owns CBS News.